While I normally make balloon animals, I do sometimes get asked for flour. Usually I'll do this in yellow. And what you do is you inflate it so that there is four to six inches uninflated at the end. Make sure you have plenty of room on the knot there and it will have it over because soon you'll be doing a tulip twist. For a flower I have to do a, a tulip twist. To do a tulip twist I will take my finger, put it on the knot and I will push that into the balloon a bit. You can see the fingertip there. I will then twist the balloon so that it's just on my finger so it tracks the knot. So if I then grab my thumb, I can grab the knot through the balloon and pull my finger out. A bit more twist on and that will give us a classic tulip twist. Then to make a flower I will put on three big elephant ears. These will be the petal. So I'll bend over like there, put a twist in there and then I'll twist that onto the tulip. So that's going to be the first petal. And I'll do the same again. I'll squeeze, I'll bend that there, I'll twist that round, and, twist on that. and that's going to be my second petal. Third petal, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give it a squeeze in with my hand. Big elephant here, twist there, and I'm going to twist these together. And then I'm going to pose these like so. so the twist is in the centre and we've got three petals. Then to finish off, just like I do on a dog, I'll give this and then I'll squeeze the air up. So remember we, like with the dog, I'm collaring it there, so I'm trapping it so that air can flow through there. I'm going to squeeze my, my hands and it'll pop up in there. Now I'm going to push down Push down, keep pushing down, and now I have a flower.